Hi guys, it's Grace with Grace Gets Gastric. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday, March 17th, 2020, and I'm here today for my seven-week post-op plastic surgery update, or, and, or, uh, my two-year, 11-week post-op VSG update. So to kind of start us off with stats, again, my name is Grace. I am 5'8", 29 years old, and on January 2nd, 2018, I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG weight loss surgery. My highest weight ever recorded was 354 pounds in May of 2017, and it was required by my insurance to do a six-month medically supervised weight loss diet. And over the course of that six months, I lost 35 pounds, so my starting weight day of surgery was 319 pounds. Over the course of about a year and a half, I lost over 120 pounds, maintained around 192 for about six months. And on January 29th, 2020, I had plastic surgery in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Alejandro Galvez. Uh, I had a full abdominal lift. I had a breast lift without augmentation and I had a bra line back lift with some lipo on my back. Uh, last week, I don't know. I honestly can't remember what, what weight I last came at you at. Uh, weighing has been a whole thing. It's just been, if you watch my last week video, you know why I haven't been weighing. But this morning I did weigh in at 186.1, which is a loss since, uh, Past, sorry, a loss since VSG of 132.9 pounds and a loss since um, my highest weight of 167.9 pounds. I'm definitely up a few pounds since I think the last time I came at you, uh, probably like three pounds. I don't know. I think it was a 183 something. Uh, I didn't check. I'm not really worrying about it right now. Uh, right now the world is on fire and I just can't care. <laughs> I can't care. And uh, I know I should, but that's where we're at. Uh, last week, I was not in a great mood. I'm still not in a great mood, guys. Uh, I think it's a combination of things. One, I'm pretty sure I'm about to start my period today. Um, I've got really bad cramps right now. So I'm just waiting for that to hit. Uh, plastic surgery, blahs, I think that, you know, like, that's a real thing. I think I'm kind of struggling with that. Um, uh, I always go through kind of a weird um, headspace around seasonal changes for some reason. Um, usually right around when the weather starts to change, the daylight savings, all that stuff, I tend to go through a little bit of a weird space. So that's happening right now. And uh, the coronavirus madness. So it's a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not doing great. I mean, I'm not like terrible, but I just, I'm really not in the mood to deal with anyone, talk to anyone, deal with anyone. Uh, I've tried to film what I eat in a day two times already in the past week and both times I just I couldn't I couldn't muster enough enthusiasm to continue filming throughout the day I'm hoping to do one tomorrow and hoping that'll actually work because that's the thing it's like I'm working from home right now because uh you know the virus and uh theoretically should have lots of time to film things and I would love to have some content for the channel and I have a lot of ideas but I just I'm not in the mood <laughs> so there's that uh food stuff has still been obviously I'm <laughs> 186. It's not great. Um, and it doesn't help that I can't move. I mean, I was actually cleared to go on longer walks and I've been doing that when I can, but, uh, guess what? self quarantine you know, like the self isolation, social distancing, quarantine, all of that stuff does make it harder for me to go on walks. Uh, because you know, you're supposed to be like st stuck inside. So, um, I'm trying to go on like a walk a day, but it's definitely not, um, I'm getting not as much many steps as I would like to at this point, but it is what it is. Um, today I was supposed to be going to take family photos with my family and that was canceled because my brother is in the military and his leave was rescinded. So um, that's not happening. I'm just really anxious for, for myself. I'm fine. Like I am really privileged in that I have a job that I can work from home with. Um, financially, I feel very secure in, in all of that, um, which is, you know, very privileged. The rest of my family is not necessarily so lucky. Uh, all of my immediate family has significant impacts, particularly financial impacts because of this. And it's really stressing me out, um, you know, and like, they'll be fine, but it's stressful. Um, what else? Yeah. God, I'm just in like such a weird, I'm such a weird space. And I know everyone else is too. So I'm not alone in that, but, um, I'm thinking <laughs> I gave up online sh shopping for Lent that might have to, you know, be canceled uh, because I can't shop in real life anymore because of the whole virus. So, um, we'll see, but I might end up, I might end up having to give that up. Uh, I'm giving up enough other stuff because of, of what's going on. Uh, 
therapy. I have my first therapy session on Friday. It went okay. I mean, it went fine. It's, you know, it, I'm giving it a few sessions with this therapist because you just don't know. And the first few sessions, you're kind of just getting a feel for each other. So I did schedule another one for like two weeks after that. So like a week and a half from now. So we'll see how that continues to go. I'm um, assuming we can, you know, still meet. Um, that wound that I have on my FDL, so Plastics News, um, is still not entirely closed and it's you know it's definitely getting better but it's getting better pretty slowly and so my plastic surgeon said you know if you he, he suggested a few things i could do on my own to help it heal better or you know help the process he's like or you could go and see a wound clinic um in person and they can probably help you even quicker because um it needs to be debrided and like with a scalpel and that's not something i can do myself so i do have an appointment tomorrow with the wound clinic and um We'll see how all of that goes. Uh, and yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure there's like more stuff to talk about. I, like I said, I'm just mentally not, not with it, not in a, a place where I'm really feeling up for interaction at all. And you know, this seems silly because this is filming a video in my apartment, like but, you know, there is interaction because I am, I'm putting effort into to talking right now. And even that is just like, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I think I'm in like a, a little baby, mini baby depression kind of thing where um, I just, I really don't want to interact with humans at all. And the effort, you know, and it's like, I find myself resenting when people are talking to me, which is, and like good friends, you know, like messaging me and I'm just like, go away. <laughs> and that's how I know. And I'm, you know, I, you know, weird mental space because I'm not usually <laughs> like, I don't care <laughs> about, you know, my friends. <laughs> so uh, I'm in a weird spot trying to get through it. I mean, I'm going, I'm about to leave to go see my family because even though the pictures are canceled, my aunt is visiting, um, she really wants to see us. And I, it is the last thing I want to do is spend the day with my family. Like I, I'm dreading it, <laughs> but you know, like I'm doing it. So, you know. Sorry for another weird video. I was hoping I'd feel in a better mood, but you know, it's kind of hard to, to muster that enthusiasm, but it is what it is. I hope you guys are doing better than I am, frankly. I, uh, I hope you all are staying safe and um, not going out of your mind too much. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.